As the Israel Hamas war drags into its sixth day, the death toll has risen to 2,500. Palestinian Health Ministry says 1,200 people have been killed in Gaza in Israeli strikes. Israel endured a massive multi pronged surprise attack from Hamas on Saturday, triggering another war. 1,300 people have been killed so far in Israel. In the latest, the Israeli Defense Minister, Defense Forces, pardon me, have admitted that there were some unspecified indications, but no major warnings the night before Hamas launched its massive attack. Senior intelligence officers reportedly discussed the signs on Friday night and agreed to continue the conversation in the morning. The Israeli forces were caught off guard that the attack was launched early on Saturday morning. The admission comes a day after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected the reports of Egypt warning Israel of a big attack three days in advance. The Israeli Prime Minister vowed to wipe Hamas off the face of the earth shortly after forming an emergency unity government. Addressing the newly formed war cabinet, Benjamin Netanyahu declared, and I'm quoting here, every Hamas member is a dead man. Netanyahu has temporarily settled his political differences by including centrist former defense minister Benny Gantz in the new government formed for the duration of the crisis. Israel has amassed thousands of troops, tanks and other heavy armor around Gaza as it executes a total siege of the Strip before launching a ground offensive. The threat of a multi-front war is also looming large as Israel came under fresh attacks on its northern borders from militant groups in neighboring Lebanon and Syria. Supplies ran low in the Gaza Strip where power went out last evening after the only power station in the territory ran out of fuel. With this, all medical facilities risk going out of operation within days, triggering a greater humanitarian crisis. On the other hand, the US President Joe Biden made his first call for restraint over Israel's response to the Hamas attacks. He has urged Israel to abide by the rules of war even as more arms and ammunition supplies from Washington arrived in Israel. The U.S. confirmed at least 22 Americans have been killed in Israel as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken left to visit the battling U.S. ally. But the United States has not been able to ascertain the number of Americans taken hostage by the Hamas group. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.